Hey, Gab. Hey, guys. Sub 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 in refresh here, and even when doing a tutorial, I can't say sub in refresh properly. And uh, this is how to use the Fallout Mod Manager. And I've seen a lot of videos, and they've all been really complicated, and I I've had enough of it. I'm just gonna make a flat out tutorial how to use it simply. Okay, so this is the Fallout 3 mod manager. I think use the same one for Vegas. If not, go and download it. I will drop a link how to get both of them in the tutorial. Literally the exact same thing. So, first thing to do is run up to your mod manager. Once you've downloaded it, as I said, drop the link. Click on it. And click run as administrator because it will not let you use this because it's adjusting all your well, adjusting your Fallout files and it would not want this happening. Just click OK. <coughs> Still drinking cola. Now, um, as you see here, you get all your DLCs, and you get to choose which one. So I've taken off Broken Steel, and here are the mods I'm running in my modded series. Now, at the moment, you'll just have, if you're running Game of the Year Edition, you'll have all of these. If you're running Fallout, you just have Fallout ESM. If you have certain mods, it'll run like that. Now, in order for mods to this to, for the mods to run, you cannot use Razor Game Booster because it it it's it doesn't work. It will just screw up and it won't launch the mods properly. So, so first of all, you've just got all this. So, tick Fallout 3 and go on to Package Manager. Now, at the moment, this will be completely blank for you. Completely. And then up here, it will say Add FO Mod. So, first of all, find your mod. Like, for instance, I'll find the... Right, there's the TTC mod. So, let's say you've got it up here. You then open up Add FO Mod. And you click on there. If, if uh, you click on, uh, let's say you drag it to your desktop. So if I go t TCC and drag TCC, I've already got it installed, but this is just an example. Oh, Blumenek. Well, let's say TCC is here. I then go into desktop. Oh, Blumenek. Well, there you go then. That's how to mess it up. Just quickly go into desktop and find the file. And double click on the file. Then it will pop up here, right here. Now, for instance, the shack house is here. Click activate. If you get a crash error or anything saying this may have damaged your computer, do not panic. It just sometimes happens. It may happen. It may not happen. Just don't freak out about it. Okay, so once you've added your mod, close this once again. There's a load of file manager stuff. I'm, I'm not Save game list. You can add it to certain saves. Don't bother with that. And click launch fallout. Once you've launched fallout, I'm not going to go into that. You will basically start and it will probably say some of your files have been adjusted. Or if you remove mods, it will say some files have been unadjusted. But I know that it saves if, let's say, I play on one of my accounts, which is my modded account. I then deactivate the mods and I play on my other account. It will say something has been adjusted. Then go back onto your other account and launch with the mods launched. And it will be absolutely fine. If you don't want to use a mod, just simply drag up the list. And, oh, sorry. You can deactivate them all by going back into the package manager by simply... If you want all of these, you can't swipe. Deactivate and deactivate all of them. So it's as simple as that. So uh, thank you for watching. Please um, give a subscribe if I helped. Give a like if I helped as well. So give me a like and a subscribe. It all helps my channel grow and I can make more tutorials. So thank you for watching. I'm Sub Envy Fresh. And uh, you just learn how to use the form. Fallout Mod Manager.